This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn about the components of a cast partial denture. So what all components do we have in a cast partial denture? So what you are seeing on the right hand side at the moment is a result of hours of hard work. And what you are going to see in the next few minutes on the left hand side is pretty much going to be a mess. Anyway, to understand, we have to go through this, right? Okay, so in RPD, we have a framework, okay? This is the foundation, okay? Foundation of a building. This is the foundation of the RPD, right? And here when you see this thing right here, it is joining one side of the components to the other side of the component. Basically, joining the left with the right. So this is a connector and to be precise, this right here or say this right here, it is a major connector because it is connecting one side of the arch to the other side of the arch. So removable dentures must extend to both sides of the arch. Why? For stability because forces of occlusion can then be distributed to all the supporting teeth and tissues. And this connection between one side of the arch to the other side is established by major connector. Now these are of various types but we are not going into too much detail because we are going to learn about them individually in the upcoming videos. Okay, then we have something like this. I'm just, you know, tracing what I have drawn here, okay. And then we have some processes here, okay. So this yellow thing which is connecting the major connector with the rest of the component. So that is the minor connector. And these extra things, they could be clasp assembly, indirect retainer, occlusal rest or cingulum rest. So the minor connectors connect the major connector to the other units of the processes such as clasp assembly, indirect retainer, occlusal rest or cingulum rest. Okay. Now, so till now we have seen two components. First one is the major connector and the second one is the minor connector. Now we all know that retention in the removable processes is a very demanding task right because we have sticky foods we have gravity in the case of maxillary dentition or we have functional forces so all these things they will try to displace the prosthesis so that is why we need retention in cases of fixed denture we have cement we have you know design and you know we cut the surfaces in certain design that we get retention and also we have a cementing agent there but here we don't have any cement you don't fix it so here retentive factors play a very essential role now one form of retention is achieved by the major connector and the minor connector how the major connector as you can see here it is contacting the tissues beneath so this is contacting the tissues beneath and providing retention so this is pretty much you know what you see in the complete denture you know the plate it is making the peripheral seal and you know providing retention so pretty much that is here and also the minor connectors which is in light blue here as you can see they are in close association with the guiding planes and the denture bases so they also provide a form of retention but the actual retainers engage the abutment teeth or implant and they provide retention so that is the direct retainers okay and as you can see here 
we have certain parts of the direct retainers so if i try to label this this will be the retentive arm and this one in green that will be the reciprocal arm just opposite to the retentive arm we have the reciprocal arm and here this in brown this is the rest so this is the rest so all these three they are the direct retainers direct retainers so the direct retainers we can see here in the mess i have created now we also have one more type of retainer that is the indirect retainer now indirect retainer they come into action in distal extension cases or when the abutment support is not adequate so they help they give an additional retention in preventing the dislodgement in such cases when we have like distal extension or when the abutment is not strong enough so for reference the indirect retainer has been shown here okay and then lastly we have this in pink which is the denture base so let me just quickly trace it here denture base and then we have the artificial teeth so these are the components of the cast removable partial denture now let us summarize this we have the major connector which is the framework or the foundation of the cast removable partial denture and then we have this in light blue all here and here that is the minor connector minor connector and we learned that the major connector connects one side of the component to the other side of the component and the minor connector connects the major connector with the rest of the component okay and then we saw this thing this assembly here which is the direct retainer which is further divided into three we have this in red that is called the retentive arm this in green is called the reciprocal arm and this in brown is the rest so we have one two and three and then we saw the indirect retainer in direct retainer and finally we have the teeth and the denture base so with this we come to the end of the video i hope you found the video helpful if yes don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to show support also you can join our premium tutorials where we cover your entire syllabus in lectures like this one and for that you can visit our website and register i'll see you in the next video take care allah hafiz your dental exams are coming you are calling your friends for help and running after notes books or even not so recommended q and a books but do you know that a bigger help is just a click away with dr teeth prime students can easily cover majority of their syllabus within a couple of weeks and guess what we are starting with prosthodontics module 1 from second week of april and we will be covering removable partial dentures register today and get flat 20% off using the coupon code early access 20 also you may check out our other subjects on our brand new website see you in the classroom